Let's set the scene, everybody. MIBR and Mad Lions dominate the entire season of Flashpoint's inaugural season so far. Phase 1, Phase 2 dominated by both these teams. Both these teams combined throughout those first two phases drop a single map. It seemed very fitting MIBR and Mad Lions matched up yet again after MIBR beat them in the semifinals and Mad Lions made their way back to the lower bracket to rematch yet again in the grand finals of Flashpoint Season 1. Both teams competing for the grand first place prize of $500,000. MIBR so much on the line as their first major title win is a chance ever since 2017 EPL Finals Season 6 was the last time they took a major, major title. The stage was set, map 1 and 2 very close, both 16 to 13 back and forth. I don't think anyone would have guessed after the way map 3 started, MIBR would somehow throw what to my, to my knowledge guys, to what I've watched so far throughout several, several years of Counter-Strike was the biggest throw of both misfortune and misplay of all time in Counter-Strike. Up 12-1 in the first half. They give away a few, a couple last chance rounds there to close the half. 12-3 up as they enter that last half. MIBR somehow throw this away, and it looked fine. You lose the opening pistol, not too many worries, until 12-5 rolls around, and you start to question, is this comeback possible? So slow. The bomb is not planted for them either. Yeah, they are miles away. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe that they're still being slow about it. What the boy coming in with the flank? He's not got any kills yet, and he could have defused the bomb immediately if he just took down Fallen. But now they're here. Now it's looking great for MIBR. They should be able to clean this all up. No, the nice bomb. No oh. has to defuse. He's going to get it. It's free. Two seconds. One second left, and they can't find him. What a ridiculous round. And yeah, cool. Maybe that one happens, but um. Then it happens again. Grenades, no, probably not even worth it. There's the tap. He's going to go look at the ramp, and now he has to go back. At least he knows where he is now. He's going to just hold it in and fall in. Surely going to be peeking this. Oh, there's the swing. One second left. I can't believe it. Shush got the round. Oh, no. It's happening. And again. He had at least a fair fight against Echo, but for oh, oh it took one he takes down Roy in the background. Absolutely outrageous. And now the Molotov is burning him. He's gonna go down to a silly and there it's still a three on three. Taco missing a chance, and now they're both there on both sides of him. They're gonna sandwich in. He's gonna be down. KNG to fall next and up on the high ground. Mayan, he can't stay here forever. They're gonna know that he's here. It's a 10 second defuse. He picks up the one kill, goes for the second inside. Five seconds left. He's not got the right angle. Three seconds. Oh no, not again. I cannot. That's twice. This is so gross for MI. And I kid you guys not, at this point at home, while I was watching this live, throughout several times of this match, I, I, was, I was speechless. I was literally watching my computer screen as we went to intermittent break here and there for a few things happening. I, I remember <laughs> Moses and Ander Anders were talking and I was like this. I, I was at an absolute shock of what we had seen. This, to me, in my opinion, was both misplay and misfortune. Complete, at some points, what would be deemed as unlucky. I have never seen a match given away like this one by MIBR. They go on to lose this game, first of all, as well. I'm, I'm obviously a bit late on this one. Huge congratulations to Mad Lions. The move they made to get rid of Hunden and bring in Asylian was a gigantic move that many people criticized, myself included, and uh, we'll see where that goes in the future. Congratulations to Bubski and the boys. A gigantic victory and well-deserved. On the flip side of this, it makes you wonder so many things for the future of MIBR, and to me, what was the biggest throw in CSGO that I have seen in several, several years. If you guys have not seen the match for yourself, I really highly recommend you go watch back the entire match and try and disagree with me on this one. Completely shocking what I did see. And then after this, I had to see Cloud9 be gifted a match. I saw Envy with another throw. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow with other CSGO news. All this, I'm just trying to take all of this in right now and really question the future of this MIBR roster. If this is not a breaking point, right? You do very well the entire Flashpoint season. Let's be honest though, the tier talent over there is not anywhere close to ESO Pro League. Yes, you make the grand finals, but in doing so, you beat one team in the top 15 and that team was Mad Lions who came back to beat you in a a brutal brutal comeback of map three and you got to start to question is a roster change needed was Zeus correct before he left MIBR that a gigantic culture change or gigantic roster change is what is needed when it comes to this MIBR roster I have no idea but when it comes to looking at this matchup that to me nails a lot of what Zeus had to say 
about this MIBR team. I'm still in shock about it. Sorry, when I'm recording this, guys, it's currently 6.23 in the morning, so it's it's hard to be overhyped or over exaggerative when it comes to this topic. I wish I could stress to all of you guys how crazy this match was. I don't know what the future of MIBR is going to be or Mad Lions or Flashpoint, but I'll tell you guys this. Despite all of that, despite the misfortune, it was a heck of a series to watch and super, super fun, and the talent made it all the better. I cannot wait to see the future of Flashpoint, hopefully bringing in better teams. We'll see how these teams currently do progress because a lot of them might be undergoing changes and hopefully will get better as well, and we'll see how MIBR does, and will they be making changes? I have no idea, but this past weekend, it seemed like something had to change. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy breaking down plenty of CSGO, esports, and gaming news all week long. We got a lot of crazy stories. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, you know what to do. Drink your Wawa, drink your coffee. I'll be drinking mine for sure here after this video. Until then, take care. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>